Could you tell us a little bit about your character in Catch-22, um, please? I, I play Lieutenant Colonel Korn, and I am the assistant to uh, Kyle Chandler's uh, Colonel Cathcart. So I'm the Weasley, slightly sinister assistant to him. Did you have a lot of fun playing someone sinister in I, this sort I of... absolutely did. It was really fun playing this character um, because I took a little from the book and a lot from the script and I sort of tried to make it into s something of my own. Yeah. Did you... Um, were you always a fan of the book? Yes. Well, I had to read the book in high school, so I was forced to read it. And <laughs> um, that's probably not the best way to go about it. But then I learned to really love the book and uh, it, was, it stayed with me for a long time, this book. Well, that's a lot more than me because I ended up spark noting it on the internet, yeah, and so well, I didn't read the whole thing. But, yeah. <laughs> but I did watch um, most of the 1970 version of this film, uh -huh. um, and I did enjoy it. Then I thought it was um, ridiculous. Um, yeah. Do you feel like you did anything different uh, in this film from your character from the 1970 version, or my character? My character in the original movie is played by Buck Henry, and I think we went around about it two different ways. But that movie, you know. I don't even know if it's two hours. It's not a long movie for, for a, a d adaptation of a novel. I like that movie. And, um, but this one goes a little bit deeper. It's, a, you know, it's, it's longer. It's a, it's a bigger, so they, they really try to jump on different aspects of the book that the movie could not do in the, in, because of time. I think that's one of the greatest things about this being a like six piece or a six episode right. um, series um, and just get to dive into a lot more. Uh, one last question. Do you feel like you have your own personal catch 22? Like, oh, you need your glasses to find your glasses if you lose them or anything that you could think of? I cannot think of anything <laughs> except um, that I cannot think of anything. It's a good question. 